Hey, it's Kate of Real Life Fit by Kate. And yesterday I got a great question from a reader about what to do about rounded forward shoulder posture issues. Um, she trains a lot, trains hard, but she kind of finds herself a lot of times kind of stuck in this sort of position. And at first I thought, yeah, it's super easy. We'll just, you know, knock out these few suggestions. But then once I get my trainer brain thinking about it, it turns out that there is a lot more potentially involved in this situation and that um, one suggestion that might not work for everybody. So today I'm going to offer um, just a couple of quick ones and then on Tuesday I'm going to have a Trainer Tip Tuesday uh, full on blog all about different options um, that cover both stretching strengthening and also sort of just postural mindset and being aware. Um, so today I'm going to give you two of each of those things because uh, for me in a practical sense posture issues have a lot to do with what is not being stretched enough so it's too tight, what's maybe overstretched and needs to be strengthened, and then also just paying attention to what we're doing throughout the day. A lot of times posture things can be addressed and fixed just by paying attention to what we're doing and being um, aware and conscious of some of our habits that are maybe a little less than helpful. Um, so the first two things I'm gonna give you are stretches. Things that often contribute to a forward rounded shoulder outside of you know the whole emotional anxious spectrum, which is something else I'll talk about next week, is just being kind of short and tight in here. Um, so one of the things that's really easy to do no matter where you are in the workplace or at home is just get in a doorway and do a chest stretch. I kind of like the, the supported 90 degree angle one where your forearms all the way on the door frame and then your elbows at the same height as your shoulder. And then you just twist, making sure that you've got your abs kind of turn on, your glute squeeze, so you're not like twisting through your lumbar spine down low, but really getting a nice stretch going through the front of the shoulder and down into the chest. Because a lot of times, you know, especially if we do work where we're, you know, putting our hands in front of us, driving, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, we get a little tight. So this is a great way to go. Another way to sort of um, address that in an easy, comfortable way is to bring our hands behind our backs. If you're able to put your palms together, awesome. If you can't, just start where you can and then really concentrate on pulling the shoulders both back and down and opening up your chest as much as you're able to. As you do this, you're gonna to wanna to like lengthen your neck out too. You don't wanna like be slouching here while you're trying to open up your shoulders. It's not very comfortable. And then you hang out here for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever it is that works for you. So there's two quick stretches that you can do. Um, two kinds of strengthening things that we can start working on are both the back of the necks or the paraspinals as they go up into the neck and connect into the skull. And then also our scapular the muscles around our shoulder blades that pull the shoulder blades down and in. A lot of times they're just not strong enough or they're inactive. And so what we wanna do is get them squeezing and moving in towards each other a little bit more. So the first thing is the chin tuck, which is going to help us start to strengthen these muscles, which a lot of times we get caught in this position or this position a lot, especially if we're looking at our phones, so guilty. Um, so it helps to offset that a little bit by practicing moving in the other direction. So for that, you're gonna to wanna to get up against a wall or door frame or some sort of solid something or other, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your hips, the back of your shoulders, and the back of your head are touching. Then we're gonna take our chin and we're gonna push it back and press the back of our head into the wall for at least 10 seconds, maybe 15, up to 15, 30, if you have the ability, and then you're gonna let that release again. Then you're gonna push your chin straight back, not down, not up, straight back, and really use the force of those muscles, push against the wall behind you, and you'll start to feel these guys get a little more active back there. So that's gonna help with that elongation of the neck so that we think long, tall spine, um, and that's going to kind of counteract the urge to do this a little bit more. Then we can also do um, what's called scapular packing. So we're going to take our shoulder blades and we're basically going to try and pull them in, down and in towards each other flat on our backs. So to do that, it takes a lot of concentration because sometimes we have to reach muscles we haven't used in a little while or just make that brain body connection again. So what we'll do is we will stand in a nice tall posture and then we're gonna pull the shoulder blades down and towards each other, just slide them down in, creating a little squeeze between them, and then we'll release. We're gonna pull them down and in, and then release. So you would do that 10 times, for 10 repetitions, so 10 times, and if you can do it hourly, more power to you. And the last two tips are just kind of being conscious in, of what you're doing. 
Um, the first thing we want to think about when we're sitting or standing, or it doesn't matter what we're doing as long as we're not lying down, is long, tall spine. So you want to kind of imagine that you've got a string coming up through the top of your skull, you know, leading down through all your vertebra, and you are just longing, elongating that spine and drawing yourself up as tall as you possibly can. And then that'll probably cause you to start to activate some of these torso muscles a little bit more. And then that'll make it really, really, really hard to like slump forward. Also, you want to think about getting your shoulders down out of your ears. A lot of times we kind of travel this way in life, especially if we get anxious or worried or whatever, or it's cold out. <laughs> that happens too. But we want to pull those shoulders down out of our ears. So between those two things, with long, tall spine, whether you're sitting or standing at work, driving, whatever, um, and then pulling your shoulders out of your ears are great places to start to kind of counteract that tendency to, to travel around with a rounded shoulder. Um, there's obviously a lot more that, um, that can be involved in this situation and a lot of other considerations, both just um, anatomically and, um, and also emotionally, habitually, all that stuff. But we'll get to those next Tuesday. And at any rate, I hope this is a quick help for you um, and stuff you can practice over the weekend until I get back to you on Tuesday.